Yeah. You look cute. Just keep them. I like the Christmas bites. Oh, okay. Is it too far away from us though? A little bit. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. And uh, yeah, we're here from Toronto. Sitting P here from Toronto. <laughs> the weather forecast is the following. <laughs> Okay, you do the intro, please. No, I'm bad at it. I'll just keep that one. The weather, oh, no. the weather forecast is great, <laughs> <laughs> and it's been great since we basically came here a month ago, mm. and um, we haven't seen the sky in a long time. I, I'll say that. Do you want to say why we came here? I think that, yeah, we came here to do some bureaucratic stuff, and boring, but uh, we had so we had to come here. So, but we wanted to give you an update on. Uh, how we're doing and uh, what we are doing. Many people are asking about our videos. We're not posting anymore. We took a little bit of a break and uh, just not, you know, having to think all the time, you know, about Mental making, health break. Yeah, ma health making break. videos and stuff. Yeah. But um, we, you know, I mean, we still love you guys and uh, that's why we're not closing the channel. <laughs> no, I would never. No, no. Even if we stopped making videos, I would never delete them. Like, I would leave it the right. way it is. Yeah. I hate it when YouTubers do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But no, we're not quitting. We're just taking a break. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Today is the last year, the last day of the year, 2023. And uh, we just want to send you this message. Um, we feel very grateful for your support throughout the whole year. And uh, we wanted to also reflect upon the, this past year and, uh, you know, what are your reflections, um, observations, thoughts? Okay, let me think about the last year because I kind of don't have a concept of time. <laughs> so, okay, last year this time we were here, right? Yes, we were here. Yeah. And, and I think that if we watch that video that we shot here, we pretty much promised that we would never come here during the winter time, and here we are. <laughs> I don't know if we said that, but I'm pretty sure we were thinking that. We tend to repeat ourselves yeah. quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so then we went to Italy, and we were in Italy for a whole year. Yes. So how was how was the year 2023 for you? Like uh, any meaningful experience? Well, this was the first year where I felt more at home in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, because before this I was like struggling back and forth should I stay there, should I find somewhere else to live um, I was feeling very homesick mm -hmm. but this year I kind of adjusted for the first time and mm -hmm. a lot of it thanks to you because you started cooking a little bit <laughs> things that I can eat you were cooking things but nothing that I could eat yes, but now so cooking you, more stuff than yeah, you can you, eat. you were helping me out a little bit because before then I was trying to I was the sole person responsible for taking care of my physical needs and I wasn't like able to cope with that um, that's too much yeah. like so the demand of trying to cook for myself was stressing me out so much that I was thinking about leaving and this year <sighs> I really took my resolution for like 2023 was I'm not gonna cook for myself <laughs> and it helped a lot although I ate a lot more fish sticks yeah um, <laughs> it's okay what about you for me I think two things I was thinking about before and the one is that I learned how stressful it is to have um, people renovating your own place <laughs> oh, shit. yeah I went through that and uh, it was my first experience with that in my life and um, well I had very you know, like glimpses here and there uh, throughout my years, but never that major. So, and uh, that was very stressful. I think I have PTSD from that. So. Me too. That's why I don't remember most of the year. <laughs> like, where did the year go? Oh, right. And it was like, uh, it's almost like they keep you hostage, you know, they yeah. kidnap you and uh, you cannot control your life anymore. So, well, that if anything, it was a good lesson about not being always in control of your environment, which I didn't learn, actually, because I'm going back to my old habits of uh, I want to be in control of my own environment, <laughs> if anything. Um, so I don't want to go through that experience anymore. 
And then uh, the second one was... No, uh, I'm going to remind you. Whenever you go about, oh, oh what yeah. about the washrooms? What about the floors? I'm like, no, <laughs> remember. <laughs> if I do ever anything like that, uh, any renovation work, uh, I will do it so differently from uh, you know what I did before. Um, so I learned a lot from that. Anyway, so... Um, so the second thing is that I started enjoying cooking again and and also because well I changed my diet I was on a, on this keto diet for two years and uh, throughout the 2023 I decided not to be on that diet anymore and to balance the things out I was eating far too many fats and I don't blame it on the diet I blame it on me I wasn't able to really balance things and um, so I decided to also enjoy what Italy has to offer, which is pasta and bread. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying any bread or any pasta, no way. I'm buying just the, you know, the homemade pasta. I, sometimes, you know, my sister makes it. I should make it more myself with selected flour, okay? Local flour. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that another thing that happened in 2023 and the third thing is that noticing that you really like you really enjoyed being in Italy like I've never like before you know you were complaining you were not feeling home but I saw a totally transformation in you like being more and more you know feeling at home yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. how it happened also um, just accidentally I learned Italian a little bit yeah because I noticed that I was able to understand you more when you were on the phone with your mom or yeah having conversations in Italian I was like oh wait I, I get what she's saying and then like a few years ago to me it was just gibberish so yeah um, that did help um, make me feel more comfortable because now even though I can't speak I can understand like the conversations going on at the table or yeah at least what they're generally about and and that makes me feel more uh, included yeah yeah um, before totally. it was very isolating right but and it's gonna get even better mm -hmm. another thing yeah. is that I really started um, feeling like like it's my home too before mm -hmm. it was like solely your apartment yeah and um, I like decorated my room really nice this year right and yeah I just I started feeling at home which is ironic for you know what we went through right our relationship exactly as that thing was happening on the other hand you know our relationship was going a little bit in shambles and <laughs> <laughs> into the shits <laughs> and uh yeah an update on that is that um well that experience made i mean brought us to a re realization to some realizations that uh, uh, are very positive for uh, um, this relationship and uh, we're very looking forward to developments that are going towards the right direction. That was very like politically correct. Let's make it more saucy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be definitive, but at the same time, I just want to say that everything is good and that things went back on track with uh, me and Sadie. And um, yeah, I mean, many realizations on both sides. So nothing to worry about. Yeah, we're still we're still together. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> we're back together. Well, we never really broke up, so we're still. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, this relationship has been. If you've been following for a while, like it's been through the rocks so many, so many times. But this one was, um, I would say, like the most close to actually ending it uh, in fact it did feel like it ended at some point um, but maybe that was necessary because we've been together for almost like eight years right and at some point you start getting too too used to each other and um, taking it too much for granted and right. like for me that was a lesson that I learned that I was taking you for granted too much mm -hmm. and also not feeling you as an individual anymore it's almost like we meant we melded too much into each other um, to the point where I forgot 
which one is you and which one is me and it was just this jumbled up mess wow. and and it's I think it's important even in long term relationships to be able to differentiate the two energies even if we complement each other really well to keep that mm-hmm. um, sort of separation so, yeah because that's what like creates the attraction and yeah. like even the more intimate aspect Mm-hmm. It relies on us not being too um, enmeshed right. with each other. Yeah, right? Right. Otherwise, in a long term relationship, you just start becoming like sisters. Or, right. Um, and it's not, that's not very sexy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, what else do you want to say on that? Um, that's all. Mm, yeah, you, you put it very well. And. Uh, yeah, that's all. We learned a lot. And uh, what is your resolution for 2024? 2024 resolution is the opposite of a lot of people, <laughs> which is, is that I want to experience more pleasure. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are like trying to do the opposite of like <laughs> taking away pleasure and forcing themselves into some habits that's not going to feel good and it's only going to last for one month and then they're going to stop. No, I want to actually start enjoying right. being in a physical body because I haven't enjoyed it, like, at all. Mm-hmm. Um, the trauma takes it away from you, mm-hmm. you know, and then you get stuck in a cycle of pain and that you can't get out of. And the healing comes from experiencing the opposite as a lot of spiritual teachers say Mm -hmm. so for me experiencing the opposite will be to be able to enjoy and what about you well along those lines uh my resolution is not to come to toronto during winter time (laughs) and i hope it's gonna be resolution for the rest of my life (laughs) oh my god to experience joy yeah (laughs) just cross that off the map (laughs) i will try very hard not to do so. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. And that's your resolution? I, no. Yeah, it is. It is. Totally. It is. Like, strongly. I feel it strongly. Okay. Well, I hope you can stick to that resolution. And yeah. And we don't have to get on another plane. Because I hate it so much. <laughs> oh, my God. The plane journey was awful. No, actually, the plane journey was fine. But the landing here was so rough. Mm. I felt like I was on a, on a ship for, like... A week, maybe yeah, me more, too. maybe two weeks. It was horrible, yeah. Like seasick, like the, the, the floor was moving. And I was like, what, what's going on? Is it because we're in an apartment? Maybe. Maybe because we are on the 27th floor and we are just in the clouds. I don't know, <laughs> something. Anyway. So let us know your resolutions. Um, I'd love to read them in the comments. Yes, please. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the new year. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.